Hi guys, it is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous day here in the end times in paradise in Mendocino County, California here on this gorgeous Sunday afternoon, July 23rd, 2017, I believe. So I'm trying to catch up on all my missed rants from the past week or so. So this will be my two day late ecological meltdown roundup rant. Oh shit, but before I get into that, I almost forgot I have not been able to bring you my comments of the day each day for the past however long. Yes, little dog, would you like to settle down please? Uh, so to remedy that, we're gonna dive into the Humpty Dumpty Tribe mailbag and let's listen to Alert Tribes member. I don't think we've ever heard from this fellow. Blood on the Tracks 65. We must have a Bob Dylan fan here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe. Blood on the Tracks is commenting on my little rant about the, the only way to save the planet is to stop, well, stop breeding or hopefully never breed. And I am proud of Blood on the Tracks to find that he is a fellow non-breeder. And he has a lot on his mind. So this is Blood on the Tracks weighing in on the state of the planet. Hambone, this was one of the most exciting of your videos I've seen in a while. Yes, very exciting. I really did not have any idea just how much I was not contributing to the demise of life on Earth by not breeding. I knew I was doing the right thing, but I'd think, sure, I'm not breeding, but I sure go through a lot of condoms. Certainly a shit ton of carbon emissions are involved in the production of those things. Not to even mention the fact that most of them will probably eventually end up in that big fucking plastic heap in the ocean, which to my understanding may already spell doom for most marine life in the next few decades. There you go. Well, there, it, yeah, there is such thing as a vasectomy, dude, if you're... You know, anyway, uh, if you don't like those condoms, those dolphin choking condoms, perhaps you could consider a vasectomy. But anyway, okay, but he keeps going here. But anyway, I really had underestimated how proud I can be for not breeding. Anyway, this video is one of my favorite so far, but I missed the no shit Sherlock button. Don't be rich. Yeah. Don't drive so much. I've been thinking about one lately. Don't smoke cigarettes. A shit ton of carbon emissions must be involved in tobacco farming, and I would imagine a great many plant and animal species chopped down and burned or otherwise driven out, all just so asshole junkies like me can drug ourselves. I think we really are fucked anyway, no matter what we do at this point. There you go. But that, in my humble opinion, is the real reason not to breed. I'm not trying to save the planet or anything stupid like that. I'm simply not trying to doom any newly created earthlings. I seriously do not envy anyone born right about now, and sure as hell do not envy the next generation when the damn babies of today start cranking out those poor bastards. We can expect sea levels everywhere to rise by several meters by the end of the century, along with constant superstorms like no one has ever seen before, among all the other disasters we have locked in. Does the world seem overcrowded now? Just imagine how much worse it will be when everyone who lives on or near the coast 
has to move inland because every coastal city in the world is flooded. As I sit here thinking about it, that's just one way in which I imagine the future of us talking apes will be absolutely fucked. I fully expect the quality of life for all of us, everywhere, to nosedive in the next decades, and of course, there will probably be a total collapse of what we call civilization and a mass die-off, and perhaps the total extinction of us. If the rest of our fellow species are lucky, it just doesn't seem humane to me to bring any more little talking apes into the world after our kind has already fucked up the climate, perhaps beyond survivability, booby-trapped the world with nuclear weapons, strewn plastic all over the place, kicked off the sixth mass extinction, and filled the planet with seven and a half billion and counting other goddamn talking apes with whom they will have to share an ever less inhabitable world and ever fewer resources. These are the real reasons I feel lucky to already be in my mid-thirties. And these are the reason I don't think breeding is a nice thing for talking apes to do in our time. There you go. And I would like to thank Blood on the Tracks 65 for pretty much just uh, wrapping up about seven years of Humpty Dumpty Tribe rants into one rant. But with that comment of the day, I've got nothing really to add except to come back at you with my uh, two day late ecological meltdown roundup rant on this gorgeous day in the end times. Bye guys.